Club Penguin isn't the game known for prolonged feuds between organized factions fighting and competing with each other in order to gain an advantage over another. The game does allow players to compete in snowball fights, fights that are usually free-for-alls, or fights between disorganized groups or tiny factions that last mere minutes. However, these fights are not always messes lacking in organization. Organized factions have been formed and fought each other repeatedly in wars, some being several months in length. According to the Club Penguin Army's wiki, there are over 400 such of these groups, and likely many more that have been forgotten to time. According to the Club Penguin Army's wiki, a world war is defined as a war that involves several armies fighting against one or more targets, and involves every server. Most world wars involve an alliance to fight a specific target. The earliest conflicts on Club Penguin were in 2006. The very first one I could find in an incomplete list was a conflict called World War I, or the Color Wars. It began in August of 2006 and concluded in early 2007. It was a conflict between penguins who were grouped into disorganized factions based on their color. It was initiated by a 2006 sports party, which included colored jerseys. This resulted in a rivalry between the penguins with differently colored jerseys. The conflict consisted of skirmishes between penguins with colored jerseys, until Korn, the only known commander of the conflict, turned their reds into an organized faction. He primarily fought against the Blues, and would eventually be ousted by his own faction. The color clans began to fade into obscurity, which would set the stage for other clans to rise. Another conflict which took place in 2006 was the Second World War. This time, clans began to form with actual names and not simply decentralized groups of players with similar penguin colors. These clans would soon begin to organize on the mini clip forums. Club of Penguin users at this time mostly came from said forum and it was considered the center of Club Penguin culture. Many factions participated in the conflict, but it was primarily fought between the Romans and the army of Club Penguin, an army founded by a former blue player, Oglethorpe. Many battles occurred in the conflict, but very few were recorded or members, and out of those, information has been lost on some. Many factions fell and faced internal conflict, but the ones that survived, specifically the Romans and the ACP, would go on to live until the shutdown of Club Penguin. World War III would begin in 2007. It was fought between the army of Club Penguin and the underground mafia's army. Oglethorpe wanted information on this army after it had apparently attacked his forces, and he discovered their site, which showed that they had been attacking the ACP and using illegitimate methods such as hacking to obtain coins. Oglethorpe sent them an ultimatum, stating that if they didn't cease, he would declare war. The UMA refused to stop, and that initiated the conflict. The two factions and their allies fought nearly every day. The ACP were outnumbered, but had the upper hand in terms of tactics. The ACP would surrender at the Battle of Mammoth, starting an unofficial ceasefire. When hostilities began to ensue again, the ACP notified Club Penguin's support of the UMA's illegitimate methods of gaining coins, resulting in the banning of their leader and the destruction of their command structure. The UMA seemed like it couldn't be crippled any more than it already was when the Rebel Penguin Confederation was formed and led a rebellion against the UMA, tearing them apart from the inside. The ACP would lead another ambush against them, and their leader decided to quit. The UMA was decisively defeated at the Battle of Woolstocks, resulting in their new leader surrendering, but still being allowed to lead his army. The UMA became quite an old army, and continues to operate to this day. The Fourth World War began in late 2008. It was another conflict pitting the army of Club Penguin against its enemies. This time, its enemy was the Great Alliance, a coalition of ten armies who each wanted to take down the ACP. The opening battle of the conflict would be the Battle of Snowfort, where the Nachos, Ice Warriors, and the Underground Mafia's army attacked the ACP. They successfully drove the ACP out of the server, but did not formally incorporate it into their territories. The ACP continued to launch raids against the TGA until they were defeated on Snowfort. Oglethorpe promised that the army would be dissolved if they could not win the next battle. They failed to win the next battle, but Oglethorpe, not wanting the Nachos to win, kept the site up and the army running. The ACP would fail to win the war, but they were allowed to continue operations. The Nachos and the ACP would fight for a few weeks once again after an exchange of insults between two commanders of the factions, but would become allies afterwards. February of 2011 was the month World War V started. Two armies, the Doritos and the Night Warriors, had fought each other in numerous previous battles. The Doritos, having ties to the ACP, caused the conflict to become a proxy conflict before the ACP formally joined the war. A coalition of more than eight armies declared war on the ACP, consisting of the ACP's old enemies, specifically the Nachos and the UMA. They led an invasion of ACP-occupied servers and quickly drove them out of all. The ACP began to prepare for an invasion of the Fog Server, the heartland of the Night Warriors. They prepared for some time for this, and the plan was a success. The Night Warriors lost one of their closest allies, and the ACP was getting back on its feet again. By the 26th, the Night Warriors were on their own against the ACP, and had suffered a week of devastating raids by them. The ACP marched into the Breeze server, and the Night Warriors surrendered, ending the conflict. This world war would be the last for almost a decade, and was considered the last righteous world war by the community. It was given this designation due to the fact that it didn't involve any illegitimate methods of battle. 
A sixth world war did occur, however, very little information exists on it, and it is known it was a war between two alliances, the Black and White Alliances. According to the Club Penguin Army Wiki's Legends list, the rise of a faction called the Pirates were a catalyst for the start of the conflict, and that the White Alliance won under the control or support of the Army Republic. However, the Club Penguin Army's wiki lists this entry on the history page is under construction, so details may emerge in the future about what occurred. By the time of the most recent World War, many great factions, such as the Romans who fought in wars during the early parts of Club Penguin's history, were long gone as a result of Club Penguin's shutdown. In July of 2018, the Rebel Penguin Federation inadvertently attacked a faction known as the Templars, named after the medieval Catholic military order. An individual had discovered that the Templars were spying on them, and brought this information to the RPF, starting the First World War in almost a decade. The RPF attempted to raid a Templar recruiting event and suffered a humiliating defeat. The RPF soon after raided an event launched by another faction known as the Pizza Federation and gave their Templar enemies a new ally. The Club Penguin Socialist Movement assisted Templars in the conflict, as well as a new faction, the Red Dawn Alliance. The RPF and a group known as the Elite Trackers formed an alliance and fought the RDA after the Templars were banned from Club Penguin Online. The RDA performed a final raid against the RPF shortly before most armies were banned. The RDA had emerged victorious, and the Club Penguin World War drew to a close. The Club Penguin armies are a relatively obscure subculture compared to Club Penguin as a whole. According to Google Trends, searches related to Club Penguin armies occupy only 1% of searches related to Club Penguin. As a result of its obscurity, I had to depend mostly on one source, the Club Penguin Army Wiki.